Hello everyone, welcome to this Packsoft 365 hands-on demo where we will learn how to configure email flow rules in Exchange Admin Center, mail flow rules, also known as the transport rules, helps you to control how emails are handled based on specific condition. So let's dive into the updated Exchange Admin Center and set up some practical email flow rules. And here in this video, we have few objectives that we have to cover, like the introduction to email flow rules, the transport rule, creating a new mail flow rules, blocking email from specific senders or domain, adding a disclaimer to outgoing emails, redirecting emails to another recipients, testing and managing rules. So let's switch to the Microsoft Admin Center. And here we are connected already. Then on the left panel, select the exchange from the option, and there it is. And once the act opens on the new tab, then locate the mail flow, which is here, and click to the rules directly. And once you click here, because in the exchange, the mail flow rules section allow us to define specific conditions for email handling. Now let's create a new mail flow. So all you need to do is to click to the add a rule. And here you can see there are a lot of options up here. So here you can choose any one that you want to do. Because these are some default templates that you can use or you can go for the new rule. And here let's say on the set rule condition, first we need to provide the descriptive name. So we could identify the specific rule that we have created. So let's name it as the block external emails. This is going to be the name. And here under apply this rule if condition. So you need to set that apply this rule if like the sender, the recipients, the subject or the body. So it's up to you that on which condition you're going to apply this rule. So let's set the sender of this email, apply this rule if the sender, and then the condition you need to select is a person, is external or internal, is a member of this group, address include any of these words, where you need to provide these words here. If you select this option, in the same way address matches any of these text patterns, you need to provide these text patterns. In the same way is on the recipient's super region list so there are a lot more options and when you select any of the options you have to provide the parameters that needs to be matched to fulfill the condition so here we are selecting the sender is external or internal so let's select this condition first select other condition if you selected any of one and then select the sender location so we are going to select outside the organization just for example then under do the following choose an action like reject the message with an explanation redirect the message to block the message apply a disclaimer to the message so these are the actions that will be taken if this rule apply and if, if this thing followed the condition that you provided now here let's select block the message and then reject the message and include an explanation so you can add it so the message will be blocked and then what happens it include an explanation and you can go further like reject the message with enhanced status of code or delete the message without notifying anyone so it depends on the condition and what sort of restriction and rule you are wanted to create and it depends with the situation so let for example let's go with the reject the message and include an explanation and then at the explanation this is a test rule this is going to be the rejection reason that we've provided and then we have this accept thing and here like you can set except if the sender Again, you can go to the same flow inside the organization, then it will be accepted. 
And here, if you wanted to make it more real world, so you can add the message like external emails are not allowed for security reasons. Any message that you can make up yourself, then click next. And here you need to, if you wanted to enforce, so you just go with the enforce option. Or if you wanted to test with the policy tip, this is something else that we will definitely explore in some other video. And the severity is like, you know, medium. And here you can set up the time, activate this rule on this date and deactivate on that date. So it's up to you. You can set up these dates. And this, this is the thing that is available here. And you can set up things. So it gives you more customization regarding the mail rules, the transport rules. Then stop processing more rules. Defer this message. The rule process does not complete. Make the sender address in a message, header, envelope. So there are a lot more things. And then you can add the comments. So let's click next and review the rule and its conditions and then click finish so we have successfully created a rule to block external emails now let's create another rule to block specific sender or domain and here it is saving and it will take necessary time to save this rule and its condition so here you can see the transport rule created successfully so let's click to the done button and again let's go to the rule and here we are going to click again to add a rule and this time we're going to name it as block specific senders this is going to be going to be the name of this rule and under apply this we're going to go with the sender and then add the block email address here and then could be any domain. So let's set up any domain like, for example, spam at the rate domain.com and then click to add. So here you have added example domain that if the sender has this domain, then do what? Do the following. And here let's go with there are a lot more options block the message, redirect modify prepare generate notify so let's go with the block and delete the message without notifying anyone so we are wanted to do what that we are blocking and deleting the spam email messages to the inbox of our users then click next here on the rule page and same with the rule settings click next and finish so this rule ensures that the email from unwanted senders are automatically deleted before reaching any inbox next let's add a disclaimer to outgoing emails so here it says fail to create the new transport rule because the domain name is not you know this is not the right domain name so let's go back and set this up Now here, the reason that you're having the error that you need to just provide the domain name without any special symbol and functions, then click save and next and finish. So once you provide the right and correct domain name, then it will save the settings and proceed. Now let's click done and now add a disclaimer to outgoing emails. So again, let's go to add rules and create a new rule and this rule would be named as add legal disclaimer and again we're going to go with the sender and the sender is inside the organization save and do the following append the disclaimer so here you have the options and apply a disclaimer to the message and here append the disclaimer and here you can enter the text whatever the disclaimer you wanted to add so let's add some then click to the enter text and paste your disclaimer if you have already typed somewhere and you need to just copy then accept and you can set up this 
like anything outside the organization. And even you can delete the accept if thing as well. If you have configured these settings correctly, then click next and next and finish button. So here, what happens that adding a disclaimer ensures that the email, every email from your organization includes important legal or security notices. Note it is. So now let's set up email forwarding and to explore more email flow and the transport rules. So again, let's click to add the rule, create another rule, and this is going to be another rule that is related to the HR email. And here we are going to select this recipient and the options that we are going to select is internal inside this organization because definitely the HR would be inside the organization. So we are going to go with inside the organization, then click save. And here in do the following, let's select redirect the message to choose any new recipients. And it's up to you. You can select any of the recipient from here. Let's select this one and click save and click next and finish. So this rule has been created as well now once it's saved then we are going to do the testing and managing mail flow rules now let's click to the done button and again in the exchange admin center let's go to the rules where we are already there and click on any rule to add it to make changes and use the test rule feature to simulate email and verify if the rule is working as expected and here you can see that managing rules is quite easier here in this portal because once you click to the rule you will see this pop up on your right and here you can just simply toggle off this button and disable this rule you can edit the rule condition from here you can edit the rule settings from here and you can play with the conditions you can review the content of this rule all you can manage from here and just single toggle off button the rule will be disabled within your organization so this is the way you can manage these rules here and also you can create the clone of this rule and then edit that rule because it happens that most of the time you need to create some rules that are pretty similar pretty identical and you need to just clone the previous rule to create the new rule well that's it for this tutorial on setting up email flow rules in exchange admin center we covered creating rules to block external emails restrict senders add disclaimers and forward messages